Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. There is a reality that exists for the people of God that I wanna share with you, and it's this. Transformed people transform people. Now, I know you're saying, wait, hold on a second. Let me explain it to you. And it sounds simple, and it is, but really what it is is that Jesus wants to transform a person. And then once Jesus is in the middle of transforming someone, then there's enough space that Jesus has made in that person's heart that Jesus can begin to leverage that person to transform other people. So it's really, it's not transformed individuals transform other people. It's really Jesus transforms somebody and then Jesus transforms other people through that person. And really that's the way it's always worked. If you look at Jesus and his disciples, the disciples were just like everybody else, but Jesus did a work in their life. And then when you get to the Acts of the Apostles when the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon them, now you have Jesus transforming these people like Peter and John. They knew that they had been with Jesus, even though they were uneducated. And God is working through these folks to reach other people. And then you have all these generations. You see Paul's letters. I mean, Jesus transformed Saul of Tarshish and made him Paul the great apostle. And then he wrote a third of our New Testament and we're still being transformed by his words today. So the key for each one of us is we need to say, Jesus, I want you to transform me. And then Jesus, I want you to transform me so that you can touch others through my life. And when that happens, then the the message of Jesus runs forth in amazing, amazing ways. So this is what we do. I want you to share this message because we want everyone to be transformed by Jesus and to allow Jesus to touch others through them. And in the comment section, I want you to share areas in your life right now where Jesus is touching you, where he's transforming you. And I also want you to share who are the people that you are praying for, people who you see regularly, people who you know, who you're asking the Lord, Lord, will you touch these people through my life? So that we can always make sure we want God to do the work in us and then we want the Lord to do the work through us. And we're gonna be able to see all that God is up to within our community. And God bless you today.